2 million. 2 million stubs. I don't know if I've ever had this many. I have been playing this game for a long time. I've been playing this game for so long that I can't even count how many numbers of years it's been. Two million stubs is going to be spent on chase packs. This is going to be a lot. Although I did not really think this through before. I was just sitting here thinking right before I started speaking into the microphone. This might take a long time if this was going to be the way I was going to do it originally. I think I did this math right. I, the math is a little bit off in my brain. It has been for my entire existence, but I think I did it right. I think this, this set, I spent two million on this bundle. It would be 2,000? 2,000 standard packs, and then I think 40 chase packs. That's probably very wrong, and I'm going to sound silly soon. You might be asking why I'm doing this. Well, this game is dead. MLB The Show 22 is out, out the door. It's in the backyard next to the rotten dog feces. MLB The Show 23 drops in like four days or something. So really, there's no point of doing anything with your stubs in 22 anymore. I sold every single person I could sell in my inventory. It was, tr Mike Trout was half of this. Anyway, let's see how, I don't know how much this will be. This is gonna take a while. Since this is going to... Actually, this might not take that long. Even though it might take a little bit of time, it just, you know. Anyone see that Japan and Mexico game? That was amazing. Except Jeff Passan kept spoiling the game. My TV is like centuries behind. I followed Jeff on Twitter and all I was seeing was minutes before it seemed like he was telling everybody what was going on in the game. I was close to muting him. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. A wallet is something you need. You, you need it. I mean, you don't need to be walking around without a wallet. What you don't want is a big ugly wallet. That's where Ridge Wallet comes into play with their very small, compact, and very stylish designs of over 30 colors you can choose from. Ridge Wallet is celebrating their 10 year anniversary with 10 years of great reviews, very amazing wallets. This company is absolutely obsessed with making durable, space saving gear you will actually use in your everyday life. The Ridge key case is something that every human being should be carrying with them. I don't want to be carrying around my ugly, my ugly keys. You ever walk by somebody and your keys are just making a lot of noise and it's like, wow, I, that's noisy. Don't want the noise? You grab a Ridge key case and you forget all about it. With the 10 year anniversary coming up for Ridge Wallet, you can get the best offer using my link at ridge.com slash G-O-H-D. You can save 40% off up until March 26th. That is ridge.com slash G-O-H-D to save up to 40% through March 26th. Thank you very much to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. My math was correct. I cannot believe my math was correct. 2,000 standard packs, 40 chase packs. It's kind of hard to believe that 2 million stubs only gets you 40 chase packs. This is fucking crazy. I can't believe, I'm not, I, I don't want, I don't know if I want to open up all these. That'd be useless to be like standing in line to use the arcade car game at the movie theater. Is this safe? Do I dare to open up at least a little bit of these? Okay, the hell with If I opened 2,000 standard packs, I think I would legitimately be one with Altair in the hidden tomb. This is not going to be the case. Chase packs only possibly for this. This is bringing some a little bit of motivation and excitement. What do you even expect from these? Right? Like, I don't know what you really expect. Do you expect cra craziness? Do you expect chaos? What do you expect? What? I thought it was the Albert Pujols from set one. I don't know what to really... Wait a minute. Is it gold the best? I forget. 
Gold is the best. Gold is the 99s, actually. I don't think that was anything. That was, that, yeah, no, that is not like the best 99 ever or anything like that. That shit was not really even close to expensive. You don't want to see purple. All right, this is not, this is not good either. Well, that's not bad. I mean, if this was day one, could probably count on one hand. Not really that many have been opened, so I mean, okay. So we're just getting the finest cards, huh? Is that the only thing that's going to be pulled from these chase packs that are 99 worthy? This is not good. This is, I think this is like a 90, 90 overall. Dark blue was the color. Yeah, oh, wait a minute, I can probably guess this. Who's, who's the finest for the White Sox? This is who it probably is. Zeus, where's Trout at? I think, I think the reason why this is possibly only giving me 99 overall finest players is because 99 overall finest players are the most common 99s right now. Come on, give me some good shit. I like Henry. I moved into this place and they left a pile of dog shit in the backyard. Who do you complain to about that? Where is, uh, what is like the best 99 that isn't the finest? This is just giving me every team's finest player at this point. Oh! Never mind. That was not that. That was a lot better, actually, even though it's not really... This was worth maybe 600,000 stubs at one point. I don't know if anything is worth anything on the market right now, but at one point, that card was worth a lot of stubs. This is letting me know that this is not only going to be fine. I want good pack luck, okay? I want this to be a little bit... Of a... I want this to be a little bit of a glimpse into the future of what this could possibly be if packs are opened on day one of 23 release. This is not good either. Wait, this is this is Julio Rodriguez again. The only finest card I will accept at this point now is 99 finest Vlad Jr. It is freezing down here. And you know what? I, sh I, am, I should be immune to coldness. I've spent 99% of my life in a cold basement. It's freezing down here. The new house I moved into is, it's, it has one heat source it heats the whole house it doesn't you know what i mean like it, it, you go in you, you you turn it up for example and then on the second floor and third floor it's roasting and then this floor it's freezing cold down here how many 99s is this is this is that common this is another one i think give me vlad i've never been a large stub Older. I think the most ever I've spent on any sort of pack opening in my life has been maybe like 700,000. I guess at this point in time, it doesn't matter. But if you spend 2 million stubs on packs in like June, it'd probably not be the best idea. What the fuck is this? Get me off my ass here in a second because, you know, there's only been 199. Wait. Oh no, this is going to be... Three Julio Rodriguez. How, uh... DeGrom? Wait, no. He's not in packs. Did Pete even get a hit in the World Baseball Classic yet? You know, I gotta say something before this is over, before I forget. You know, being born in a place and raised there. Born and raised in a place on the east coast of Canada. There's really not that much there. You know, like, you might be able to spot... A decent Walmart. For the love of Christ, Target went out of business in a year there. We don't get that much on the east coast of Canada. And then the time came where I made a decision to move away. I want to experience more in life than the east coast of Canada. Who the hell is this? Oh. Expecting to see a finest player, some old guy walking out. I didn't look like Tom Glavin at first. Well, that'd be a good pull if this was like June. I had Olive Garden for the first time. That was amazing. That bread and the soup. How is that not good? The best soup I've ever had. I've never had better soup. I could have eaten 50 breadsticks. They came back and asked me if I wanted more. I said no. I could have eaten 50 if I really wanted to that night. I want to make that and eat that every day. Uh, next time I go there, I'm only getting soup and breadsticks. Or is that weird? Will I be the creepy weird guy in the corner only getting soup and breadsticks? Please tell me I'm not some shitty idiot. I have experienced more food places in the couple weeks that I've been here. This is getting bad now. Well, for the end of the year, this is bad.
know, I could have probably made a lot if I sold all these. I'd have to sell them all at the sell now price probably, but I probably should have just done that when they popped up, so I could have just bought more. I don't know if you can just write it down with a lightly green shaded pencil at this point. This is going to be a finest card. Wait, this might be, uh, oh no. Oh, this is red now. Wait, this might be good. This might, this might actually be the tier you want to get. That's the same. I don't even know if anything is expensive in this game anymore. They're either everything is just really cheap or everything is like 50 million. The fuck? This is this is cursing me now. Two DeGroms in a row. Just like seeing a bunny rabbit outside of your house with a wizard potion mask. Who is this? Oh, I didn't even remember Nola had a 99. This is purple, all blue. Oh. This was going to be the last thing I was going to do in MLB 22 before 23 releases. Playing one more ranked seasons game. I haven't played rank in a while. One more ranked game before it's all said and done. It's kind of a tradition to play one last rank. Wait a minute. Yeah, this is no finest. See, like the some of these cards would have been thousands. This is this is. Uh, I'm gonna guess this. Uh, Kershaw. No, I'm gonna guess this one. Oh, Kershaw. Why is it just giving me shitty cards now? This was like, I got like 10 in a row at one point. Now it just gave me low tier live series. Technically there's like 1,997 left. All right, this is it. This is the last one. This is, this is Corbin Burns, 100%. You can write down. I mean, that's probably one of the best ones, isn't it? <laughs> the hell with it. One more ranked game may have to be played. I may have to sit my ass down one day, and by one day, I probably mean tomorrow night. Thrown into the depths of the earth, you know? MLB The Show 22 was an interesting game. It may not have been the best. Love of Christ, it may have even been closer to the worst. It may have been closer to one of the worst MLB The Show games ever released. I am honestly convinced that they might have better content at the beginning of MLB 23 than they are going to for the entirety of MLB The Show 22's cycle. I'm convinced of that. I, I feel positive going into 23 now. I love you all and have a good night.